proud I am of this group for going out there and executing everything that we had talked about the last 48 hours. And it's a tough, very tough environment to play in. And we knew that coming in. We talked about going out there and matching energy early. And I thought we did that. We gave them a couple uh, plays at the basket, <clears throat> excuse me, on some lob plays early. Uh, that's what they do. But once we got our low man in place and, and uh, uh, had our rover set on the side, got into rotation, I thought we were really crisp. <clears throat> excuse me, and really sharp. And that's what we had to, to do against this team. Shots they took, they got a lot of them off, but I thought we had good spirited contests on the threes that they took. And then what we found on the offensive end of the floor is they were really doing a good job of taking away our shooters with CJ and Casey. <clears throat> Put the ball in these two guys' hands and let them go to work. Uh, you know, you look at Derek, what he does, uh, I, I think I can jump higher than him right now. But, you know, when you get him the ball in the middle of the floor and he can get into the body of the defender, um, Carl Brennan is one of the leading shot blockers in the country, and he's a, he's a force at the rim. We're not going over top of him, but with Derek and his experience, his ability to get his shoulder into the body, create contact, and then go up over, we thought that uh, Derek could have some success with that, and that, that's what happened. And you see how much we missed him when he was out of the lineup and what he provides for our team. Uh, just made big play after big play uh, on the offensive end when we needed baskets. And then the charge he took. Is that your first charge you've ever taken? <laughs> it might be. Okay, so we'll try to do more of that. Yeah. But Derek was really good. I mean, huge play when we really needed. And then, you know, what can you say about Sam with that, with that line that he had, just making plays in the post, um, you know, 12 rebounds, seven assists. Uh, just did, did, did everything for our group. And one guy that didn't show up much in the box scores manual, but I thought his defense on Nemhard, uh, who absolutely torched us a year ago, was, uh, was a huge key to this win. And then Juwan's efficiency, I, you know, I could go on and on talk about it, but let, let these guys talk. Uh, Derek, uh, did you respond to him saying that he was higher than you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky <homes. laughs> Hey, Sam, you probably can appreciate what the significance of this win for this program as much as anybody. Um, just maybe just reflect on what today meant for this team, this program, the Um Yeah, I mean, this was, when I committed here, like this was the game that I wanted the most, obviously, for, for a lot of reasons. Um, I was just talking to some of the staff members that have been here um, for a long time, whatever, 15, 20 years, and, just thinking back to players that I idolized um, that wore this jersey that didn't get um, this win, and especially in this arena. Um, obviously, I just walk around Lincoln, everyone's just like, just be great this year, just be great this year. And, um, it'll be nice to have a good response to that now. Um, but I mean, yeah, this, it's hard to put into words. Um, I get a little bit emotional thinking about it just because it, it means so much to me and so much to this group and to the state. Um, but it's, you know, this is a day that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Derek, it seems like in the past few years when uh, you guys have lost to Creighton, it's kind of taken some of the wind out of the sails of your team. Do you think that's something that can be the opposite with this one? Uh, definitely. Um, you know, we've been making a lot of strides just as a team, and uh, getting this win for us was really big. Um, like Sam said, it meant so much for the program. Uh, it meant so much for the people around us. Um, and that's who we come out and play for every day. So uh, getting this win, um, we're, we're all happy. You know, we, we just, we're going to celebrate this moment, but we can't wait to the next. And we can't wait to just keep improving and getting better um, and showing the world what we're made of. Derek, there's been so many times where the game's out of hands for the first five minutes, 38 to 8 and all that. But was there a point early on when you guys kind of knew that you were going to go hang with these guys? I mean, was it kind of like we could win this game all the previous? Um, I mean, that point that point started before the ball was even uh, up in the air for tip ball. Um, we have a really good team. We have a really good team that believes in each other and that we believe that we can come out every day and win. Um, our emphasis was us, um, and we made it about us tonight. Um, and I couldn't be more happier with how everyone played on our team because we, we focused on us tonight, and it felt really good.
or not even in kick first yet? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to comprehend in a way, just because, I mean, I don't remember that. Um, but I do remember a lot of um, losses, I guess, because like we know I was a Nebraska basketball fan. Um, and just to be able to to get that win, um, get over the hump, if you will, in this um, in this rivalry, I mean, it just it feels amazing. Sam, both you and Coach talked yesterday about handling adversity. Just if you can talk about the way you guys continue to punch back, especially there in the second half. Yeah, I think the, the biggest thing that I've noticed is in the huddles, um, we get, you know, coaches talking, obviously, but then after he's done talking, we have, you know, me, Derek, Emmanuel, you know, we're the ones talking, we're the ones leading, encouraging. Um, and I've talked a little bit about it before, is when you have a player-led program, that's when you can be really, really good. And um, obviously, it, the leadership comes from Coach Hoiberg and our whole coaching staff, but when, you know, our captains or leaders of the team understand um, what we need to do and we can, give that on to the younger guys or, you know, whatever, um, that's when you can go from, from good to great. Derek, can, can you just talk about setting the tone those first nine minutes? I think you had 10 points, you know, right, right off the bat and kind of getting off to that start. Um, and uh, I just, it's all my teammates, you know. Um, they give me the ball and they tell me to go. Um, without them, um, I wouldn't have the confidence I have to go score the ball. Um, so just having the trust in my teammates um, and having them trust me so well, um, it, it helps everyone, you know, it helps everyone relax. Um, and they know I, I feed well off of them as well. So they know if I got a high in the defense <coughs> crashing in on me, they know I'm going to find them. So um, we just have a really good team, and we just love playing with each other. And, you know, we got a team where anyone can be the man of the night, and we embody that and we embrace it. Um, so thanks to those guys for even just giving me the ball. Sam, you guys jumped out to that six nothing run coming out of the break, but this is three straight second halves where you guys have kind of come out fire on all cylinders. How big is that to set the tone down the final 20 minutes? Yeah, I mean, it's it's huge, obviously. Um, that's something that we've really focused on. Um, I think, you know, the first few games of our season, we kind of lacked in that area. Um, we didn't have the, the best second half starts that we wanted. Um, so, you know, in the halftime um, huddles or, or whatever, we're right before, um, you know, we start the second half. We really make sure that we, we lock in um, and you know we, we execute and the biggest thing is that we just do it together. One or two more for the players. Anyone else? Okay, for the players. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. You guys don't want me to do one. Okay. Hey, just, just a warning. Your tenure here and the way you want to really make the, the, the program that's been this year. Yeah, I mean, it, it means a lot, especially with the stretch that we have coming up. And we, we knew that, uh, you know, if we could get out to a good start and find a way to steal one, um, you know, like this on the road, uh, that would be huge to set the tone and give our guys confidence moving forward. And uh, the, the thing I've been really pleased with the last two games is just how well we've come out and played in the second half. We saw the Florida State uh, game against length, and you know, you saw Derek coming back into the lineup, what he provides for us. We feel good about this group because they're older, uh, they, they're experienced, we've got guys that have won, and you have to have that in an environment like this to be able to get over the hump. So, you know, Sam's exactly right. These guys, how they talk to each other, uh, it's a very resilient group. And when teams go on runs against us, when you have that leadership, and those guys are out in the huddle, you know, I give them some time, I, I get in the huddle, I get them out there, and then they generally go out and huddle together on the floor before the ball comes back into play. And that's designed, um, you know, for uh, those guys to talk some issues out, and then they go out and, and, and again, they've executed it. So, you know, really uh, happy with this win, you know, happy for that. You know, what it's all about for me, I mean, I'm sitting over there doing the TV after the game, and I see, you know, they got a picture of Greasel over there hugging his parents. I mean, how cool is that? You know, for a guy that grew up in this, and, you know, means so much to him, and to be able to come back and, you know, put that type of win on his resume, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty darn cool. Hey, Fred, last year you said one of the biggest keys was the way that Mark controlled the pace. So how did, in the reverse for you guys tonight, Sam do in that regard? Yeah, he, he killed us last year, and, and he, I thought, was, uh, 
you know, they, they all did pretty pretty damn well, but he was he was exceptional in the game against us. And he was getting downhill and getting up the floor. Today, I think they had zero fast break points in the first half. You have a chance if you can get back and get your defense set. If not, you're, you're done. You're toast in this building. So, you know, to be able to get back and then <clears throat> we want to be very selective in our attack. If we had numbers, we were going to push. If not, we were going to slow it down, get into our offense, and hopefully execute and take what the defense gave us. And that's where uh, it was apparent early that they were going to take our shooting away. They did a heck of a job with that, with their game plan. So Derek and Sam, uh, you know, really were the two guys that we that we played through. And again, those guys, I give them all the credit in the world for going out and continuing to make plays. Where does this defensive performance rank for your time here, considering the opponent, considering the location? Just yeah, yeah, really, really good. Um, you know, I, I mean, those two wins at the end of the year were big, but you know, the, this moment at this time of year, uh, you know, to be able to get a signature win like this is huge. And Defensively, it, it's yeah, it, it couldn't have played much better. And again, it, you know, they missed some shots. There's no doubt about that when, when they look back on it. But we made a conscious effort to try and take away the paint. If they get lobs and they get threes, you can't. You, you got nothing. But you have to take something away. I mean, you're going to give up something. But you know, we, we felt if we rotated and, and we got out of the, uh, you know, got out of that low man spot early in the possession, that we felt we could force them either into a drive. Uh, where we did a good job funneling it to the baseline uh, or take a contested shot. And they make them, you know, they make a lot of those. And we, we talk to our team about it. If they hit, you can't get deflated. Uh, it's such a high powered uh, offense. Max, one of the best in the business, um, you know, when it comes to that side of the floor. And uh, our guys just did a great job of flying around. And that's what it's all about. If, talking, if you're going to make a mistake, make it with effort. And I thought we did that. Creighton hit that four point play to cut it down to five in the second half. And then on the other end, Sam, that back cut for the end one to kind of answer right back. What was the significance of that play and him making that read in that situation? Yeah, yeah, we, we needed it. And again, you put the ball in your two uh, players that had it going tonight, and that, that's what happened. And you know, one thing I'm proud of this team is it's every night somebody different. And, um, you know, last game it was CJ and Casey that, that really had it going. Tonight, uh, because of the way they played us, it was Sam and it was, it was Derek. Uh, you know, one of the games down in Orlando, it was, um, it, it was Emmanuel. So, you know, the other guy that, you know, I can't say enough about is Juwan. You look at the efficiency that Juwan played with and the rebounding. And, uh, you know, we went a little bit small for a stretch there. The other guy's Wilhelm. I told, I told him, you're going to hit a huge three for this team. It's going to help us win a game. And he did that. And that was enormous for his confidence. So, um, you know, everybody that stepped on the floor, I thought contributed, and, uh, and that's what it's all about. Hey Fred, how big were the two stretches where Walker picked up his second, I think with like five minutes left, he had to buy time at the end of the half, then he had the third, and just that you, you held serve though in those moments. Yeah, we, we really tried to take the air out of the ball, which pains me to do that, but, you know, we just felt that that was our only chance was to slow down and, you know, try to uh, buy some time with Derek on the bench because he was really the only one putting it in the hoop in the first half for us. So, um, yeah, it, it was it was important that when he picked up his third that we couldn't get to the media tight up quick enough. And then it got down about 14. Derek was exhausted and, you know, committed the over-the-back foul. But, um, you yeah, know, we were going to get him out at that time anyway. And then when he went back in, again, he just he has a way of calming us down when, when the ball's in his hands. Fred, look at the, like, uh, the first half they did get two back-to-back -back makes off of reversals. You also hear scrambling rotations and things like that. How did you guys not let that affect their effort level in terms of flying around and rotating? Yeah, yeah, it's a great question. We, we watched those two clips at halftime, and, um, you know, we, we, it was a defensive mistake. And, you know, the, the wrong guy uh, stayed in, and then our rotation was messed up because of that. It was a really good adjustment by, by Mac. But, you know, we watched uh, that play at halftime, made sure if they were going to come out <clears throat> and get us into that uh, action again, that we, we knew what we were going to do to cover it. Uh, they hadn't shown that. Uh, action, but you know, it was a really good play against our defense. But once we made the adjustment, then uh, that allowed us to get out at least contest uh, and contest their shot. Um, but you know, again, this team has resiliency to it, and uh, I, I give the two guys here, Emmanuel and um, you know, Jawan, uh, Wilhelm, all those guys credit for you know, continuing to stay the path and, and not get deflated out there. Fred, I guess this is more of a big picture thing, but you talk about Juwan, you talk about Emmanuel, obviously Sam. How big can that experience that they bring be in a game like this? Yeah, I mean, it makes all the difference in the world when you when you have that. I mean, the guys that have been through it, guys that have played the postseason, and um, you know, when you when you have those kind of guys, uh, you know, just what it means to them to come out here and, and understand the importance of getting a big signature win like this. 
know, this team that we played tonight, they're going to be competing for a national championship this year. And that's just how they're built. And, you know, for us to come in here on the road in a hostile environment and, uh, and find a way to, to get a win uh, is huge for confidence. And again, we're at Indiana and Purdue, those are our next two. You know, we've got a tough one going into the break, and then it's all Big Ten from there. So we have, have to get wins like this if we want to continue on to play, uh, you know, after the regular season. Sam penetrating and continuing to look at score and take advantage of the size mismatch. Is that something you guys talked about going into the game or something you kind of instigated on his own? Yeah, we, we figured they'd put a, a, some size on him, which they did with uh, with Trey, um, you know, for the most part. And it, it was either going to be that or Derek. You know, we felt pretty good about getting the ball to Derek. Um, like I said, in the middle of the floor. The, the thing about Derek, he can score it all over the place. But Derek's physicality, his experience, um, you know, we felt good about the ball in both those guys' hands. And again, especially the way that they took our shooters away tonight.